Today I'm basically not in a good mood. Thank you, Eskom. We are back to low chili. Your parents will tell you that uh, when they were in high school, they walked across fields. They would swim through rivers and sea and what what in the winter to get to school. You are privileged. But yet, if you are grade 12 now and you're looking at my video and you're thinking, wow, there's so much pressure. They didn't have load shedding. No, 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 no. This thing of one time electricity, there's nothing. You're sitting in the dark. You must study by candlelight. Uh, it's not on. So today I'm going to show you. So today I don't make a funny video at all. Today I'm upset. I'm going to show you how to make cheap solar panel, cheap lighting for your house so that you can basically study. Hope it works for you. I want you guys to do very well in the final exam and to do well in the final exam you're going to need to study at night. You must want success more than you want sleep. So you must actually work when the others are sleeping. So people ask me to do a video on uh, how to study because you can have you can have the best study aids, you can have the best what, teacher. You have to at some point sit on your backside and study and it's normally at night and then there's uh, load shedding and you can't study and it's very difficult to study with a candle, it's very difficult to sit and study under those lights in the street. Oh and they'll also be off with load shedding so um, how can you, uh, I, I thought of a way to help you okay, it's a bit expensive, not really expensive, so what I've done is I've used an old, um, one of these old batteries, it's a small battery, alright, and then a uh, LED light and a cheap solar panel so at this stage it's day now so the solar panel will be on and then on the solar panel it registers yeah this is my little controller box you don't have to buy an expensive one uh, this one I got for free it was broken but you can buy a small one as well as long as it's 12 volts you're looking for the 12 volts then you make sure that from the solar panel there's a positive and a negative. That positive and the negative wire goes in here where it says solar panel. It shows you the solar panel emblem. There it goes positive is the red one. Black is negative. Then you have any, look I've tried to make it as cheap as possible. So any wire, as, lo as long as you know that the positive mark, the positive clearly if it doesn't have a red, and then put it on the battery, positive, all right? At this stage you can see it's charging so the battery positive and the battery negative go to the positive and the negative this is the positive this is the negative right then at night obviously there won't be any light coming in so your solar panel will not be working so now it will show to you that during the night it's now night time showing you a little moon there meaning that uh, it's now night time so the little moon shows you night time and it's still 12 it's now going out into the battery and then the battery powers my little light the light doesn't look like much oh and it's it's nice and cool it's not it's not burning me if you know um, so I don't know how long this one will last obviously you can you can put in a switch I didn't go I didn't opt for the switch I just plug it in straight but yeah if you want to switch it off just unplug it and then if you want to use it again plug it in uh, the one I'm using normally lasts on a battery like this about six hours so you can study now I'm going to show you if you have a bit of more of a budget what else you can do on a bigger budget you can buy something like a lithium battery and you can put it onto an inverter now the inverter will also have input for solar as you can see there there's an input for solar solar input or you can plug it in your mains it will charge and charge the battery all the time the big battery this one doesn't belong to me I'm making use of it thank you to Shack Max they borrowing it to me um, then also what you can do is if you only have a small battery like this one you have a battery and you do not have a, a solar panel you can get the old charger doesn't matter the state it's in 
And here we have another example, basically the same as what I showed you. You have your battery pack, you connect them in, in uh, what is, well, these will be connected in uh, parallel. So positive to positive, negative to negative. Meaning they will last long. They will push out 12 volt, but they will last long. Then you can buy a small little inverter like this. It doesn't have to be a big one. You put it on there. Also, you can have a battery charger that you run from your socket that keeps all this charged all the time so that you can have internet and lights even in load shedding. Right, so that's also something to consider. Uh, a better way for me would be to replace this simply with a solar panel outside and that little controller box and then they charge during the day. You have your wires coming in from the roof and they will be going into, you can't see it here, but there is a symbol there that shows solar panel. They go in by the solar panel. Then you have the positive and the negative for your battery pack. Again, the batteries are 12 volt each. So two of them connected in parallel, parallel meaning positive to positive, negative to negative. They push out 12 volt, but they will last a long time. This time the inverter used is a pure sine inverter, 500 watt. Pure sine means that the wave it pushes out is a pure sine wave, which is very good for laptops. So in this case we will be powering laptops, printer and internet from this setup. So now you are independent from ESCOM. Um, we do have the option to like in the other case now also add a little battery charger should this not be enough but i mean you can see it's more than enough because at the moment the sun is shining the uh, solar panels are pushing out 14 point something volt so everything is sharp it, it stays 12 volt everything is good the temperature everything is good that's also a cool way of doing it there's one more thing I want to show you and that is typical of South Africa with load shedding. Our gate motors do not work. So I've got the two solar panels in my garden. I'm running a wire because I'm only testing it for now. I will do it better later on. And then in the gate motor itself, there is my little solar controller, which is 12 volt, which is showing it's charging. The solar panel is on now. It is charging and then it kicks out to my battery over here so now my gate motor will be working well during the day and normally since it doesn't move open a lot during the night once you get the idea of just cheap solar panels with a cheap controller box on a cheap battery it makes the world of difference when it comes to south africa i hope this helped so that you can really study at night because at night um, that's the time when you need to sit in front of your books. 10 exercises per day, do multiple choice, do staggering, um, go from easy to more difficult questions every day so that you can do well. Buy yourself a little cheap gadget so that you can um, use it for your studies. The light is very, very important. You can also have a little gadget like this one. Um, What I've done here, but I'm not going to go into that detail, is you simply um, replace the power supply, the battery, with a bigger one, and then during the day it charges, and then at night you can, for quite some time, have uh, electricity. My favorite one of the lot will be the expensive one. But we can't afford, always afford that, so the cheap ones just for light and for the basics i also use uh, i don't like the inverters all the time so i there are other ways of using things i will do a video on series in parallel the diodes i explained that is like a valve that pushes the electricity into the battery in one way i've done with the uh, tech science this is actually for physical science and tech science part of your syllabus as well because the diodes that they use are they in the tech science syllabus 
and a series of parallel is there in physical sciences. You can buy more than one of these, of your solar panels. Then you can play around because now if I close a part of it, I use, I lose a lot of my eff effectiveness. But I can take another one like this and connect it in series to this one or three in series or two in parallel. You can play around series in parallel. Also, when you connect more than one battery pack, you can do series and parallel. It can become very interesting. But the bottom line is you can have beautiful. Sorry about that. You can have beautiful electricity and light even when ESCOM does load shedding and I can't tell you how bright this is. It is really bright. You can study with this. People, thank you so much. I hope this helped you. Um, I will do... Uh, oh, sorry. It's only for the learners, just for light so that they can study at night. Mama, I can't help you now for the washing machine. Uh, Papa, I can't help you now for the geyser. What we've done is we used uh, gas for cooking and a gas geyser which I don't have now but I'm going to get one because that is more effective when you have the load shedding all the time. Thank you so much and keep well. Oh and I still wanted to tell you how it works with uh, this little guy that you can add. It's a day night switch so during the day your lights will be off saving your electricity uh, and it's a 12 volt one. Uh, when you buy make sure you buy a 12 volt one. And then at night the lights come on all by itself for the whole night so it's also a safety thing that people don't break into your house then you can buy you can do all sorts of add-ons to that to make it really creative and nice thank you for watching please if you can subscribe it will mean the world to me um, I will also appreciate it if you tell me what topics I must do for grade 12 oh I will also do a very interesting topic next, graph, but the higher grade graph, gradient, area, those type of things. Stay posted, keep, keep watching, all of the best.